Hey, how you doing? So today I'm going to show you this cool trick that I haven't seen anybody talk about. And that is how you can use an external monitor with an iPad. I know that a lot of people use an external monitor when, um, when they use a, a laptop computer. So why not use that same monitor for your iPad? And this is how you do it really quite easy. What you have to do is simply pick up one of these. It's an HDMI adapter sold by Apple and you simply put in the uh, HDMI cable that was in your computer into the adapter and then there's also a little port here that you can put in the, uh, the wire to charge your iPad to the back so now you can charge your iPad while you're working. And you simply put that into your iPad and turn on the monitor. Ta-da! And there is your gigantic iPad screen. And it's terrific for, for reading, um, for checking news, reading emails. I love it. It's terrific. It's like a whole computer experience and it's way larger than your regular screen. This is a 9.7 inch iPad. But now with this screen, let me measure this. I just happen to have a tape measure with me. You see, I have a 21 inch screen. Isn't that incredible? So this is actually a 27 inch um, Samsung monitor. But uh, as you can see, the aspect ratio is different than um, on the iPad screen so you're really not getting all of it but hey this is still pretty darn amazing and so my setup consists of uh, using an external keyboard and if you watch my other videos you see how, how I talked about how, you, how great it is to use an external keyboard with your iPad and use all those cool keyboard shortcuts I explained that in another video so it's just a terrific way of working um, and now this basically becomes a gigantic um, uh, touch, um, what do you call it? An Apple Touch Track. trackpad. Thank you. So this basically becomes a gigantic video trackpad, and I can scroll down and and work. Uh, at just like I treat it like a trackpad because I'm using my keyboard shortcuts in the keyboard to do uh, the main work. So the only thing that you have to uh, keep in mind is audio. When you're doing this, you're, if your monitor doesn't have built-in speakers, um, then you need to either use a, a headset. You can plug in the headphones to your iPad and do that. Or you can do what I did here is uh, just use an external Bluetooth uh, speaker. So I have, um, what, you, what you have to do is just simply pair it with your Bluetooth speaker. And once it's paired, then uh, the audio will come through the speakers again because the monitors don't have any internal speakers so and it sounds great I put my eyes on so I can see okay so another cool trick is if I make this go full screen now videos do take up your entire computer display so if you're watching Hulu or Netflix or YouTube movies, you do get the full experience even though you're running an iPad. So let me just pause that real quick. And, um, and it's interesting, I talk about this, uh, you know, this actually, this is the video of Apple's new um, laptop computer with the little tiny video touch. Well, this is almost like that same similar concept and thinking, but now my trackpad is the video touch and it's huge. And I just love working in this type of environment. It's a great little setup, and it doesn't cost a lot of money to do. So give it a shot. That's it for today. If you like this video, subscribe, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.